So today in this video, I would like to share how we can set up DC 3.3V output because some of the components and some of the sensor and module we require to have 3.3V especially here for example, I'm having ESP H66-01 this is a Wi-Fi module and this will only work on 3.3V so if you supply fiber to this module uh, the, for example directly if you supply from Arduino then the module will be burned out so in this case you need to have a 3.3 volt DC regulator so this is a very convenient I have here is LM1117-3.3V if you look at to the body part number here they will be they will be written lm1117 t that's 3.3v so mean that this ic is the 3.3v output this ic how is work and the first thing we have to know is this is the ic regulator and the minimum voltage and the maximum voltage input so the input voltage could be between 4.5 to 12 volt DC and the output is 3.3 volt fixed because they already written here 3.3V and the current rating is 1 ampere so once you place in this position and the first pin is positive in and the second pin is the positive out and the third pin is negative in and negative out so this is very simple so I have a one breadboard I will remove this jumper wire first so the breadboard connection is this is the connection line and this is the connection line so since the input is between 4.5 to 12 volt you can use either is 9 volt or you can use 12 volt power supply or 12 volt battery as long as the range is between this voltage so I'm going to place testing on this breadboard so this is 3 pin I will place right here right here on the breadboard I'm going to use 12 volt power supply right here okay this is my 12 volt power supply and 12 volt negative 12 volt positive So now this line is 12 volt positive and this line is 12 volt negative and 12 volt positive we comes to the first pin of LM017 so the 12 volt positive 12 volt positive we go into the first pin in and 12 volt negative we go to the third pin so from the 12 volt negative we go to number 3 pin so I count this the first second pin is I count from here by right we have to come from this is pin 1 pin 2 pin 3 so since I already mentioned this is pin number 1 then uh, we just follow this uh, by right this is pin 1 pin 2 pin 3 so the positive pin we comes to this this side of the pin here and negative pins we go to this side of the pin here and this is the input the input is already complete and the output so the output is in the middle is the output so the output I will place to right here and this side of the breadboard positive is the output and this pin will be upper negative so we're going to place a positive and negative just a jumper so that we can test and let me turn on my power supply so this is 12 volt power supply let me check with my multimeter 
I'm the first I'm going to check the the input voltage so this line is the input the input voltage this is negative and this is positive so let's check so here we have 12 volt input and how about the output so let me check the output so this is negative and this is positive so I get 3.27A voltage uh, D which is considered 3.3 volt so to be smooth we can add one capacitor either is 10 uf or 22 uf or 100 uf 25 volt so for the capacitor there is two pin in the capacitor so this line is the negative and the full black color this side or can say this the longer pin the long pin is positive the short pin is negative so from the input the long is positive the short is negative you can give one capacitor to make it smooth to stable and 10 microfarad 25 volt you can add here so the long pin is positive the short pin is negative so we can add from right here So we can check the voltage again. The voltage will be the same. Uh, means that this we add in capacitor is to make it smooth, to make it stable upward. So 3.27A, this is the output. We get 12 volt, this is input. So from here is the input. So not only 12 volt, we can use and if you don't have 12 volt power supply, you can use 9 volt power supply as well. So 9 volt power supply. If I use 9 volt, this is positive here and this is going to be negative also. So by the times. I can get uh, 3.3 also so this is input is now 8.43 volt because my battery is already a little bit low it's supposed to be 9 volt but already uh, I already used this battery so already drop voltage and the output will be 3.3 volt <coughs> so this time now you can power your ESP8266 or any other 3.3 volt device so this is how uh, we can make 3.3 volt DC output and I hope this video will help for someone those who would like to know how to make a 3.3 volt and thank you for watching my video